And we should be able to spin around. Look at this. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, look at her. This. This beautiful subject right over here on display is the Harley Benton ST62. Disguised <laughs> as the 25th Fireman. That's what I think. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I just wanna see if that makes any sense to some folks. See, now, the appointments on this particular guitar that Harley Benton makes was quite, quite a big step uh, when it first came out. And I still think it has some relevance uh, towards how Harley Benton's uh, new modern series is coming about. This is just my personal opinion now, of course, folks. So, uh, what do we got here? Well, we got this, this fire mist body. It's the color, right? Well, here's another thing. Uh, the wood is alder. And uh, the pickups, uh, we have Roswell pickups. We have, looks like, two single coils. And then we have this mini micro twin blade humbugger sort of thing. <laughs> and it works. I want to point out some differences here and some similarities that this is going, I'm going to put this up against. So uh, we also have here a, a much better uh, trim system than what we had on, say, uh, the Harley Benton ST62 line. What we also have here, as if we can see, I mean, look at... <laughs> have, have you guys taken a look at the neck on these things and just <laughs> the figuring, the... the the flame maple here. Let's see what this looks like. Do you see any flame maple in here like that? That on here? See that? How beautiful that is. We have, oh, oh, before I get to how gorgeous this is, and because this really is a gorgeous piece, seriously. I mean, we have, we have stainless steel frets. We have a, a tusk nut up here. I'm not, I don't think I have pictures of it. Well, up, or maybe over here. <laughs> All the way up there, we have a test. <laughs> um, uh, when it first arrived, it came totally just, you know, pretty astonishing was the, the feel. As soon as I picked it up, felt, you know, that comfort level that pros like to have, you know, that pro comfort. That, that's what this thing has. It has that pro comfort. All right, so it also has uh, locking tuners um, up here. <laughs> Harley Benton's locking tuners. <laughs> and uh, what else do we got here? And um, all right, so other than the fancy stuff I just pointed out, right? And you know, and if you like this color, that could be fancy for you. And um, what else? Oh, I just realized my microphone's all the way over here. But what I wanted to say is, um, it's really a beautiful guitar. Uh, it it, it uh, feels so pro in your hand. Um, I'm a little separated by complete envelopment, I have to admit, because of the finish. Not because of the color, but because of the finish. It's, you know, has ver this very soft eggshell-y feel, actually polished eggshell finish. Um, it's kind of like what my uh, Harley Benton faded white felt like. I'm not, I don't gravitate well to that, this kind of feeling. It's very soft. I mean, it's like you could, you're not gonna get a rash no matter how 
what you do with this? <laughs> it's just so, so soft. So anyway, what I wanted to point out, folks, is that this guitar This particular guitar, which is the Harley Benton ST62 Hot Rod, is very similar. Okay, it doesn't have the same wood. This, we don't have alder in here. This is basswood. You know, we don't have that fancy trim system going on. And the wood is, well, I, I said it, right? It's, it's, it's not alder, it's basswood. Um, the, the neck doesn't have that figured, cool, flaming maple stuff, but it is these Harley Benton's vintage necks that people talk about, and rightly so, because they're just... <laughs> they're so comfortable. <laughs> what a great guitar. I have nothing but praise for this particular... And this is actually one of my favorite guitars to play. Um, it doesn't have that fancy trim system, but, um, oh wait, this thing just went off, so I'm gonna put it back on. Uh, just, okay, so we're resyncing back again this, this, this camera. Okay, so, um, so where was I? Okay, so over here we have the Harley Benton SD62 hot rod <laughs> and uh, with the hot rod what we're getting is basically the same thing that the fire mist is seriously except it's it doesn't have stainless steel frets it doesn't have the fancy trim it's not made of alder it's made of basswood it doesn't have locking tuners um it doesn't even i don't think it has a really fancy nut this particular one. this might be just be a plastic nut and uh, that's about it. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it, all right? It's just this black, and God knows what the how, what the wood look looks like underneath it. <laughs> uh, that being said, I, I, absol I absolutely, honest to goodness, I mean, cross my heart, I love this guitar. This guitar is, this is, this is a keeper. I would never, I mean, I don't know. It's got mojo to me. I don't know. It's, it's this quirkiness is to it. It's a little bit of a fight I have to put up with this in order to, to get it up and running. But it's one of those kind of girls. It's not just, you know, turn the ignition and, you know, and glide. You don't even know you're flying. You know, this, this, this guitar reminds you that you're working with it. Um, the fire mist is more of a ride and glide. You turn on the ignition, it's very easy to play, very soft, um, that kind of, very polished, very pro it feels, you know? So um, this, on the other hand, there's a little bit more angst to this. I know I keep getting myself in the, in the light, uh, taking myself out of that, but I wanted to, you know, here's another thing I've been doing, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just experimenting with this, uh, with the camera angles here, as I rotate, um, what do you think? Is this a cool? Is this a cool idea? Is it working? Is it making sense? Look at that! <laughs> I love this. I got this little turntable. It's a little, like a lazy Susan that I was, you know. I usually use it for the kitchen, you know, like for the. When guests come over, you can put some cheese on it. <laughs> cheese and crackers. I don't know, something like that. And now I'm putting guitars on it. <laughs> so there you go. So anyways, this is my Harley Benton SD62 hot rod. All right, so and... Uh, all right, let's get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of all of this now. We don't need any of this now. Because we're gonna, talk. I need to hold both of these girls in, and uh, so we have the Harley Benton ST60 Fire Mist 25th Anniversary and the and the Hot Rod 62. Now, to tell you the truth, both necks feel pretty similar in terms of depth and feel and stuff. So. 
Maybe, maybe this fire mist has a, a, a bit thinner, a bit thinner neck. Um, they both weigh uh, the same. They come in weighing at seven pounds, eight ounces. Um, this. It's just a good feeling guitar, and it, it does. It's like I said, it just feels so pro. Whatever, whatever you think pro is, look at this. I mean, it, this is a this is a really hard thing to to wrap your head around. I don't know. It's no, no, it's not a hard thing to wrap your head around. Here's here's the thing, folks. These these strats configurations they come in a multitude of colors and can, well but it's always going to look like this right no matter who makes it, what a manufacturer is making it, right and then they put in these pickups say you know the same thing that fender did years ago many many decades ago and now other brands do the same thing change colors it's all parts right this is it's it started off as a parts caster. That's from it conceptually. It's a, I mean, originally it was all original parts. <laughs> it, you know, so, but anyway, long story short. So then, you know, I, I have a real fondness for this guitar. And as much as this guitar is so beautiful to play like in and it's in my hand it feels and it looks i mean i mean look at look look, look at the look at this flame it just it's crazy it's just and this doesn't have that you know this you know but it has a great neck it's a little chunky and like i said this one takes a little bit more to play um uh, to get it get her up and running you know have making her behave a little bit she doesn't have the fancy trim that this one has. Um, but nevertheless, if there was a fire in the house, one of the guitars that have to be saved would have to be this one. Even before my 25th, fire, 25th anniversary fire mist. So uh, that's what I'm taking out of this. That's what I'm getting out of this. I think... Despite the beauty that this is to, to actually behold, it, it looks beautiful. I mean, seriously, it, it honestly looks beautiful. Uh, I haven't taken the plastic off. That's the reason why it's all wrinkled over here, the, the plastic film covering. Um, oh, well, here's another thing, too. These pickups are the same pickups that are in the Harley Benton ST62, including the ceramic twin blade pickup. This is the same pickup that's in the ST62. Sound wise, you're gonna get, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's in my head, but I think sound wise, I like the other one better. This one here, you, you, I get kind of torn, you know, the fact that, you know, it, it looks so good, it feels so good, you know. And yet, <clears throat> it doesn't give me that angst that uh, that guitar gives me. Yeah, this one here has a little bit more fight. Well, it could be that, you know, maybe I just have the action too low on here. This is just a two, this guitar is just so easy to play. This is a shredder. This guitar is a shredder. This one here, okay, so this one here is more of a shredder. And this one here is more of like, I want to, I just want to freaking play loud rock and roll, you know, straight ahead, right, you know, just, just straight up rock and roll, get loud, or you can get freaky, get, do whatever the, whatever, this one here, it's like, I want, I want to, I want to, I want to show off, I want to, I want to get like, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> I don't show off anymore. I'm kind of slow when it comes to that. So there was a time when I used to show off. <laughs> I'm a lot slower now. My brain doesn't even work that way. That's that's an odd thing. Here's something to consider, folks. I don't know how this is 
if this works for everyone, if this if people can, can relate to this. But the, there's certain things that I did when I was in my 20s and 30s that I, it's not that I can't do that. I, I don't believe it's not because I can't do that. It's because I'm not there in that mindset to do that. I don't know if you can wrap your head around that. There was a time when, you know, then, like, say, you know, very early 80s, late 70s, I was listening to John McLaughlin, Al Demiola, Jeff Beck, um, those kind of cats getting, you know, Mike Stern, um, know, Bloomfield, too. I mean, just... But, oh, uh, Alan Hallsworth, of course, Fripp, Zappa, and, you know, more heady kind of stuff, you know. And then I remember seeing Steve Vai play with Frank, with Frank Zappa's band in, uh, I think it was um, like 1981 or two or so. I mean, because I had seen Zappa a few times. Like back in the early 80s. But then I saw him play. I saw uh, Steve Vai. Oh, that's right. I think it was at the Hofstra or something like that. Oh, it was out, out there on Long Island. Went out there and I was blown away. Um, but I knew that something about the way he was playing and the comfort that he was playing at, the guitar was contributing to that. You know, uh, I was more like an Angus Young type of player, um, you know. <laughs> and uh, I, I was, but at the same time, I, I was totally influenced by by what I was listening to in terms of McLaughlin and more heady stuff and Fripp. And so I, I did venture into getting eventually a, a Super Strat, and I paid a fortune for it. And it, too, was made out of alder. And to tell you the truth, this one already plays much better than that one, which I paid for nearly, like, and back back then, a lot of money for. And that was, like, early 80s, you know, when, when I did that. Because, you know, Van Halen was coming in. But I, I wasn't into that, <laughs> going into that direction. But I had total respect for it. So, of course, I just naturally wanted to have a vehicle that I can, I can drive around in, the, in those fields with. Long story short, I had a, a super strat. And I, then I realized that, you know, that really wasn't for me. Although I had loved playing with whammy bars and getting into crazy weirdness, that kind of weirdness was so heady that I, I knew that nobody will, <laughs> was ever going to show up to any gig to see that. So, uh, you know, I, that's how I ventured into punk rock. Because <laughs> one thing at a punk rock show, you're going to be seen and everybody's going to be jumping around being happy. And they're going to be off stage, they're going to be on stage. Likewise, you too. <laughs> so, and uh, that's, how, that's, that's the punk rock life. But um, back to this fire mist. So the fire mist brought me back to this whole heady trip of the whole reason why I once got into the super strat feel. You know, and what I meant by super strat is that, you know, okay, so so when I when I in, in that early 80s when I when I had a super strat, I had a Kaler system. Beautiful with the locking nut up here and everything. Uh, I was competing with Floyd Rose. I but um I like this way much better, way more, less complicated, no locking nut. I don't need no locking nut. I don't, you know, I'm, and, and this gives me, this gives me plenty of, and it stays in tune. It's nice, you can even hear without the amp, it sounds beautiful. It's just so ringy. Let's see how this thing sounds without the amp. So this one, uh, the 
the pharmacist does have a better trim system, but we all know how crazy and fond I am about uh, six-point trim <laughs> and all the subtleties it imparts onto us. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to see touch base. No, I didn't want to see anything. Well, oh, here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully these new camera angles are going to do something like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know what? Every day's a, it's just a shot in the dark, you know? <laughs> I'm surprised I hit any targets. But um, I'm not worried about it. I like this. I like this, all this experimentation we get to do. Together, you and I, you know? All right. I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to play some time with her. No offense to you. No, 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 this is no hate on you. You're actually beautiful. Yeah, you really are. I just, uh, it's just, uh, maybe I gotta do something else with you. I'm not gonna like rip, uh, rip you up or tear you up. You're too, you're so pretty just as is. But I just, uh, maybe, maybe do something else with this pickup. Because this pickup is telling me that it's the same pickup from from that one. And if I'm gonna go to like a another level because of the wood and all of that and, and the tram and, and fancy flamey neck and locking tuners and all of that, then I think this should be upgraded. So I'm gonna look into upgrading this. Any suggestions? I mean, either, does anybody really have a good opinion or experience? On one of those pickups, like similar to that, you know, where you have that those twin blades, you know, um, something like that. Like, let me know. Um, I'm not, and I'm not looking for something that sends me into the heavy metal stratosphere. That's not me. I don't know if you guys have figured that out, you know. But if you guys know the kind of pickup I, I'm a, I'm a PAF guy when it comes to humbuckers. Straight PAF, classic 57, that's what I like. That's personally what I like. When it comes to soap bars, very simple. Well, I'm sorry, I just said it, P90s. Gibson P90s, that's what I like, you know? When it comes to these, I don't know anything about these. You know, I've seen a lot of other ma brands make them, you know? So I'm deciding which one I might go with um, because I... I don't know, and or maybe not have a blade, you know, maybe, I mean, I do like my Eric Johnson pickups that I have in, on Creamy, my, my ST62 uh, vintage white one um, with a maple neck. That has uh, Eric Johnson pickups, and I do love those. Um, the only thing is that, of course, it's a, they're all single coil. And it just doesn't send me that much over the edge. I want something just a little bit that reminds me I'm on a, a bridge pickup. N not that it's the tone. I want a, an, another reminder. And I'm not, I don't, I get that, but not in a good way with this. When I play this, on the other hand, I like this, this uh, difference that this is. And it's the same pickup. But on here, it just, it, it makes sense. And um, I, play, I, I play all three pickups on here because I actually like, love this guitar. Absolutely adore. Now, it could be that I'm the lucky one. I got, I got lucky. You know, some people are not lucky. They get, I don't know, they get the wrong pick of the litter. I mean, I, I've had plenty of wrong picks, but... Recently, in the last few years, I've had a good run of good, decent guitars coming my way. And this is, this is no exception. This was a, still a great guitar. Even though it, I have yet to connect with it, this is still a good guitar. Anyway, let's put it through its paces. Let's see if I can shake this poor feeling I have about you.
just say I got for today, that's all. I gotta leave it like that. I gotta, I gotta leave it like that. That's all it is. Dude, shut up. Just shut up. Thanks, folks. You know what? I hope this got some clarity somehow, um, if this makes any sense at all. You know what? I'm not really hearing much of a difference. It's, it's a feel thing, if anything. I have a feeling that once uh, when we hear it back, uh, there's not going to be much of a difference, if any difference. I think it's a feel thing. It's purely a feel thing. It's like when I hold this thing, it, 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 because it requires me to play a little bit more, like, like more aggressively, I get more out of it. This is just so easy, and it feels like so easy to play that it's almost too easy. I'm not... This one here takes you. Ha, you're very conscious about every note, and in order to make it sound good, you got to put more effort into. This one, right from the get go, you get this feeling like I don't really have to put so much effort into it because it it, it feels so good in your hands, you know. It, it it you know it has this you know more polished feeling as opposed to this. That being said, still, I have this weird fascination and gravitation towards this thing. It's not saying that this thing is fail, falls them off the mark or fails in any way. This is an exceptional guitar, and I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm thankful I was smart enough to get this, this uh, fire mist. This is a this, I'm. I'm I may not like be gravitating the way I'd like to want like <laughs> I, I'm not may not be gravitating to this towards this guitar like the way I should be um, yet. But uh, I think in time I will. I be, because it's clear that the, the quality, everything's in here for me to like it. I think it has to do something about the tone I get out of this thing. It's it's nice, um, but for once I get attenuated to this thing and it's it's a, you know it's a little bit more raw, I think. A little, and also a little bit more subdued at the same time. This one's louder, more more high uh, I get the higher ends a little bit more. But this this thing makes me, you know, Makes me chew, makes me bite and chew. Whereas this thing just, it's just like swallowing an oyster. There's nothing, there's no chewing to do. Um, this thing you gotta tear into your meat and masticate and, you know, that's how it feels. That's this tactile feel I get. Um, you know what? And I understand that it's not gonna make sense to a lot of people. I don't expect it to make sense. This only makes sense to the people it makes sense to, you know. I get it. So, uh, you know, guitar is not just, um, you know, uh, how good it looks, you know, the style you want to play, the pickups you want to play with, the, even the music you play for or to or get inspired by. You know, it's it's more of a feel thing, of anything. You know, it's like a, it's like a, a good pair of shoes, you know? You start wearing them because you get used to them. Or well, maybe your feet get used to them. They get used to walking in those shoes. You know, and then of course there's people who like a lot of shoes in their closet. So, and there's, you know, that could be a me too. I like a lot of guitars, you know? Um, I like exploring. I like, I like uh, feeling the differences. And I tell you one thing, one thing to not be ashamed uh, of boys and girls and those in between is that if you can't afford the big wigs like the Fenders, the Gibsons, the Paul Reed Smiths, Smiths well, you know what I mean, uh, the the expensive high-end boutique stuff, you know, if you look around and you do your homework right and, you know, uh, you get in on it, there's a lot of uh, um, budget guitars nowadays being made by 
um, well, um, with a focus to to getting it done right with with craftsmanship. And now you don't have to go so much underground to find that, you know. So now, like like Harley Benton, like Firefly, um, like uh, um, what's that other one? The Jet guitars, you know. You know, I think nowadays, uh, guitarists, you guys have it so lucky. You know, you know, for the money that you can lay down and for the amount of guitar that you can get for that for that amount of money nowadays, it's just exceptional. So um, I'm, I'm really thankful I got into this, uh, this trip with, the, with, these, with this brand, actually, this Harley Benton brand. I, I'll, I'll admit, I'm, I'm a little biased now, you know, because... Um, I, I, I've never come across a, a brand like this. Uh, well, first of all, I get more exposure to it because it's something that I can afford easily, right? And then I'm, I'm blown away by the exceptional uh, return on my investment each time, you know? And some of the stuff that I've gotten from Harley Benton, I was actually, you know, kind of looking forward to, like, tearing it down. But then I realized that even for the price, there's no, there's you couldn't beat you couldn't beat these these examples that they're producing, and and so this is the Harley Benton ST62 hot rod. So it's different from your standard ST62, meaning that this has um, a twin blade ceramic humbucker pickup over here in the bridge. This is uh this is based this twenty uh, fifth um, anniversary series was more or less about a hundred a hundred fifty dollars more than this thing, mainly because uh, it has is made of alder it has stainless steel frets, locking tuners, uh, graphite nut. Uh, an uh, exceptional uh, trim system. It's a Wilkinson, but it works. Uh, no, it's a Harley Benton, I'm sorry. Um, now, with both of these guitars, you know, sometimes you're going to have to wire up your your, your uh, lead, uh, bridge pickup to tone control. And both of these, I had to do that. So that's not a big thing to do. You should be able to figure that out. Um, you know, I think I should make a video about that because it's not so hard to do. And, and uh, I think I did. Actually, wait, I think one of those videos. Yeah, go check out this video. Or that video. Yeah, check out that video. That ought, that ought to tell you something. All right, folks. A anyway, thanks for watching. And it was, it's been a pleasure to entertain you and get into your households every once in a while when I get a chance to get all choked up about some new guitar in my life. Well, this one isn't so new. This one's been around for a while, but it's been a while for me to get the nerves, actually. You know, bring her out to the public. And... Um, these two have been at it for a while. They're like, you know, they're sisters, but they're sisters, rival sisters. <laughs> I don't know. You two girls got to behave. You know, you got to be nice to each other. I know. Both vying for my attention. And I know it started with you because she is really just, a, she makes me feel so good. This brings me just to a good angst feeling. Um, this, I have to either got to learn how to get into what she's feeding me or I got to let her go. Um, but either way, um, this great guitar in the hands of someone who would really love to shred on this. I'm sure this they would they would absolutely love this. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Anyway, uh, that's it. If you got any kicks from this one, feel free to... Well, actually, if you if you do get it, any reward out of this, it would be really cool if you could, you know, leave a comment if you like to, or hit that like button, or even better yet, subscribe. That's it. You know what? That would be really cool if you would subscribe. You know, contributing to my retirement plan. Oh. You guys so rock the house. All right, gotta go now. Bye. Thanks for watching. Drink more water.